Well, fans, we're ready for a great weekend here in Jonesboro and a very special treat for the first time. We've got Scott Hart, President and CEO of AMP. Uh, I tell you what, man, Jonesboro, Arkansas, every year it's a party. One of the greatest cities we go to every year. Some, they, everyone said the biggest is the best. I don't agree with that. These small towns like this, they put out more energy. Some of the best fans of monster truck racing, and we give them the show to match their energy and their intensity. So we're thrilled to be here. Glad you're here, Ross, and the Monster Blog to uh, help cover this great event. we got some of the best talent we're going to find anywhere in the country right now in this building. So I'm excited about it, too. Well, thanks for having us. Now, uh, the AMP Tour, you're having a great year here in 2011. Uh, this is the first time we really had a chance to talk to you on TMB TV before. Tell us a little bit about the Monster Truck Thunder Slam. Well, Monster Truck Thunder Slam, uh, this is our sixth year doing the actual Thunder Slam Tour. Uh, we've really taken it to a new level. We try to keep the challenge changed every year and bring in new fresh acts to uh, keep the people happy and the fans on the edge of their seats. That's what we're about, extreme sports. And um, we're looking to put it together a couple new shows coming up the next couple seasons, some extreme stunt shows. But for now, we're just really happy uh, throwing people to monster trucks. But um, anyways, we're looking forward to 2012 as our 2011 season comes to an end. But we're really happy what we've seen so far this year. And I don't know how we're going to beat it next year, but we're certainly going to try, Ross. Well, let's talk a little bit more about Jonesboro specifically. I mean, since you guys started coming here, we've been here almost every year since. And, man, the people pack it out here. And something special about this place, I mean, never fails. The monster trucks always put on just a great show. I agree. If uh, you were here last night and we saw some of the most incredible wheelies that I've seen not only this year but uh, for the past several years. And adding some new great talent like Andy Hoffman to our lineup and more wagon. Uh, obviously, Bigfoot's always great to have around. They always put on a fantastic show class act and uh, of course Alan Pizzo don't need to say anything outside of uh, Alan <laughs> his team is just incredible so you know um, all the rest of our shows we've got some great talent but this is the one show I want to be at all year long um, this Jones Bear show is something else all right fans we heard it from the man himself Scott Hart with AMP we're ready for a great night here Saturday night in Jonesboro and another big show coming your way Thanks, Russ.
right, fans, well, we got him here, the Big Wheelie Contest winner, the rookie, Darren Schnell. Now, Darren, a lot of folks probably would have said watching last night, you know, you should have won that one. Maybe you got robbed. Well, they made up for it here tonight. Tell us about putting Bigfoot in victory lane. Yeah, last night's wheelie felt a ton better. It landed right square on the tailgate. Sorry, Trent, I got another one to fix. Tonight, it just, it twisted funny, but fans seemed to like it. So what are the fans like, I guess? All right, well now coming up next is gonna be the side-by-side -side racing. Uh, last night, the way the lanes went, you got stuck in the bad lane. They're looking a little bit even after this wheelie contest. What's it gonna to take to try and get Bigfoot to victory lane? Gonna be quick off the flag. The short course, five cars, you gotta hit the flag. And then it's just timing and getting across the cars nice and low and nice and fast. Well, there's the breakdown from the rookie Darren Schnell. He's already got a win here tonight. He's going to try to sweep it all. Racing coming up next on TMB TV. Well, strong performances so far from Alan Pizzo and the Pouncer so far tonight. Alan, uh, wheelie contest. A lot of folks might have said you should have won that one. You met up with Bigfoot in the finals, and uh, you, were, you didn't want to leave any, any doubt on that one. Most definitely not. Uh, I feel I won the wheelie contest, but, you know, sometimes they give a, you know, a win to somebody that, you know, has more, I guess, publicity or whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. Bigfoot's a good truck. Kid's doing a real good job driving, but we had to show him what racing was all about. We still got one more event left. We got freestyle. I will leave nothing on the table. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to seeing that, but both nights in the finals, and uh, you told me earlier you're actually back in your old chassis from a few years back, and you're kind of having fun with that this weekend. Most definitely. I haven't drove this truck in three years since I built my new one, and I tell you, it's almost like riding a bicycle. You don't never forget it. Chassis fits good. You know, we're looking for even better things out here freestyle. All right, now talking freestyle, it's going to be a similar deal to the wheelie contest. He's probably, you know, some of these guys are probably going to have the crowd behind him, so you're going to have to overcome that. What's it going to take? I'm not worried. I can't let any secrets out yet, but it'll be good. All right, fans, well, you're going to see Alan Pizzo throw it down in Pouncer. That's coming up next here on TMB TV.
Come on, man.